chapter 2, lesson 1 is about factors. So, this lesson, we would need to be reviewing our multiplication tables. So, again, the best strategy is to do finger countings. Okay, now, when it says factors of a number, factors. So, these are what divides a number. So, what divides a number? So, always one and itself are the easiest factor of a given number. So, the, to find all the other factors, we need to be able to see what divides the number, the given number. Okay, so, which means we need to know simple rules about divisibility. So, if it's divisible by 2, it should be even. Okay, if it's divisible by 3, the digits when you add up should be divisible by 3. So, add the digits and then divide by 3. That means it will be divisible by 3. Okay, if it's divisible by 5, it should end with a 0 or a 5. Okay, if it's divisible by 6, it should be an even number and should be divisible by 3. Okay, so again, it's important that the kids keep practicing counting with their fingers. Tables of 2s, tables of 5s, tables of 10s. Tables of 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 for this chapter. Okay, so starting with page 39, it says, Okay, so if we want to find all factors of 56, the easiest thing to do is start with 1. Okay, then... If your kids can do mentally, then what we want to do is do check if it's even. So that's for the 2. So that means that's even. So I know that it's a factor. 2 is a factor of 56. Okay, now, if the numbers are big, another strategy is to just start listing. So this is 1 and 56. Okay, and then which is also... 2 times 28. Okay, then from here, you start dividing the 28, and that's 2 times 14. Okay, so since that's 2 times 14, we know that the next factor of 56 must be 4, because there's a 2 times a 2, so that means that's 4 times 14. So that's the easiest. Now, Clearly, 3 does not factor here because if you add, that's 11. And 11 cannot be divided by 3. Okay, so if we continue with the process, 14 is 2 times 7. So that means 4 times 4 times 2 is 8 times 7. Okay, so how do you know when to stop, when you have two numbers, two pairs of numbers that are close to each other or are the same, that means you stop already because that means you've covered everything. So, which means if I list, our factors will be 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 14, 28, and 56. Okay, doing the same process with 100, Okay, we know that 1 is a factor. So we'll start with 100. So this is 1 times 100. Okay, then we know that 2 is also a factor. Okay, so this will be 2 times 50. Okay, but clearly 3 is not because when you add the digits, cannot be divided by 3. So that means we're going to do the same strategy. This is 2 times 25. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 25, making 4 a factor. If we continue, 25 is 5 times 5. So, 4 times 5 is 20, and we keep the other 5. Okay, proceeding, 
20 is 2 times 10. Which means this will be 10 times 10. Because 5 times 2 is 10 times 10. Now, since I have the same number, I know that I've covered all the possible factors. So now I just go back and list in order usually. So 1 is there, 2 is there, 4 is there. We need a 5, we need a 10, a 20, a 25, a 50, and finally a 100. So these are the factors of 100. These are the numbers that will divide 100. More problems from page 41 includes problem number 2. So it says, find all common factors of the pairs of numbers. So find, okay, so I've selected letter B. So we want the common factors of 12 and 16. Okay, so the best thing to do is to write down each of the common factors. So again, if the numbers are small, it's easier to just go through the individual numbers one at a time. Okay, so we know that one is a factor. Okay, so since that's even, two is a factor. Three is also a factor because we can divide that by three. The next one is four is a factor. Five is not which means 6 is, 7 is not, 8 is not, 9 is not, 10 is not, and 12, 11 is not, and 12 is. Okay, so similarly, if we go through the process for 16, we know that 2 is a factor. We also know that 3 is not a factor because 3 does not go into 16. Okay, but we know that 4 is a factor and then the next one is 6 is not, 7 is not, 8 is a factor. Okay, then which means the next one will be 16 already. Okay, so again, if they need to do the tree as we did in the previous problem, then allow your kids to write it down as well. Okay, so the question is find all the common factors. The common factors will therefore be 1 and will be and will be 4. So these are the common factors of 12 and 16. Okay, in problem number 3, it says, which of the following pairs have 3 as a common factor? Okay, so I'm going to do letter B, 18 and 24 versus D, 49 and 52. Okay, so if it's asking if 3 is a common factor, then that means each of these should be divisible by 3. And I gave the rules for divisibility. So, which means that right there, if you add, is 9, that's divisible by 3. This, if you add, that's 6, that's divisible by 3. So, that means this is a yes. So, again, it's either the kids count by 3s, but as the numbers get bigger, then it's harder to count by threes. Okay, here, as the number got big, it's harder to count. So that's why this is important that we know the divisibility rule of three. So if I add nine and four, that's 13. Clearly, three does not go into 13. So I don't need to check the other number because it's not divisible or it's not a factor. 3 is not a factor of 49. Therefore, it cannot be a common factor of 49 and 52. So this is a no. So again, the logic behind factor is these are the numbers that can divide a given number. The smallest factor of any number is 1, and the largest factor of any number is itself. That concludes Lesson 1 of Chapter 2. See you in the next lesson.